city there at Tal Halamam was absolutely pounded. Everything broken. Pieces of pottery on one side, some of them are melted at extremely high temperatures, but they didn't know all that. They, they didn't know the forensic part of it because they were uh, Levantine archaeologists. You know, they didn't do the, the, the geochemistry and the, the microscope work. They don't make, so I went over there. In the first year, I, I was about 50% digging with the rest of the gang, but then I had uh, some real leash, and I was allowed to just walk around Tal Halamam and collect samples and see what I could see, blah, blah, blah. So we shipped all this stuff back to the U.S. Then the next year, I was joined, uh, for people who are skeptical of a, <laughs> a civilian like me doing this stuff, believe me, they'll put the scientists on you. But I did the initial work. And then the next year, I came back with an archaeologist, PhD, a rocket scientist, and an MD, and as part of the Comet Research Group, and we got more samples. Then they spent six years writing the scientific paper, and it came out in 2021, and it was a pretty big deal. It was published in Nature, and it provided evidence in support of the Genesis passages concerning Sodom and Gomorrah. And I have no doubt that personally that that site is Sodom. <laughs>